तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल एग्जाम बडी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर आवर मोक टेस्ट क्वेश्चन पार्ट वन फॉर इथिकल हैकिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गिव यू सम क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू आंसर इट इन फाइव सेकेंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट वट इज द प्राइमरी पर्पज ऑफ इथिकल हैकिंग सो दीज आर द ऑप्शन इंसर्ट मालवेयर ऑन पर्पज स्टील डेटा फॉर रिपोर्टिंग लीगली आइडेंटिफाई सिस्टम वेबिलिटीज डिलीट सिस्टम फाइल्स सो योर टाइम स्टार्ट ना and the answer is c legally identify system vulnerabilities and now let's go to our question number 2 which of these is a commonly used penetration testing methodology so these are the option white box trojan horse worm box back door box so your time starts now and the answer is a white box and now let's go to our question number 3 for bursty network traffic which switching method is most efficient so these are the option circuit switching message switching packet switching token switching so your time starts now and the answer is c packet switching and now let's go to our question number 4 which transport protocol is connectionless and does not provide guaranteed delivery so these are the option TCP, UDP, FTP, Telnet. So your time starts now. And the answer is B, UDP. And now let's go to our question number five. Which IP header field prevents infinite packet looping across routers? So these are the option: header checksum, time to live TTL, fragment offset, HLAN. so your time starts now and the answer is b time to live and now let's go to our question number 6 which of the following is a key responsibility of the ip layer so these are the option framing routing packets between networks guaranteed delivery error correction at bit level so your time starts now and the answer is b routing packets between networks and now let's go to our question number 7 which of these is not a field present in the ip header so these are the option ttl port number protocol source ip so your time starts now and the answer is b port number and now let's go to our question number 8 datagram packet switching typically uses which routing style so these are the option requires pre or route setup all packets follow same route always uses dynamic routing for each packet always uses virtual circuits so your time starts now and the answer is c uses dynamic routing for each packet and now let's go to our question number 9 What is the maximum decimal value of the HLAN IP header length field? So these are the option: two fifty four, thirty two, fifteen, eight. So your time starts now. And the answer is C, fifteen. And now let's go to our question number ten. How many bits wide is the IP header checksum field? So these are the option: eight bits, thirty two bits. 24 bits 16 bits so your time starts now and the answer is d 16 bits and now let's go to our question number 11 why is fragmentation performed in ip networks so these are the option to improve encryption strength because different networks along the path may have different mtu sizes to speed up the packets in transit to compress the payload so your time starts now and the answer is b because different networks along the path may have different mtu sizes and now let's go to our question number 12 which network element typically perform ip fragmentation in ipv4 historically so these are the option source host only destination only 
intermediate routers can fragment switches so your time starts now and the answer is c intermediate routers can fragment and now let's go to our question number 13 which header fields are used to resemble fragmented ip packets at destination so these are the option fragment offset flags identification ttl and protocol only source and destination ports header checksum and hlan so your time starts now and the answer is a fragment offset flags identification and now let's go to our question number 14 if an ip packet arrives with df don't fragment equal to 0 mf more fragments equal to 1 and offset equal to 0 this indicate so these are the option the packet was not fragmented the packet has been fragmented and this is the first fragment the packet is the last fragment the packet header is malformed so your time starts now and the answer is b the packet has been fragmented and this is the first fragment and now let's go to our question number 15 if hlan equal to 15 words of 4 bytes and total ip packet size equal to 2000 bytes how many data bytes are present so these are the option 1930 1940 1950 1992 so your time starts now and the answer is b 1940 and now let's go to our question number 16 which class does ip address 128.0.1.3 belong to and which does 1.193.11.23.10 belong to so these are the option class a and class a class b and class c class c and class d class b and class d so your time starts now and the answer is b class b and class c and now let's go to our question number 17 which ip address block is reserved for private network so these are the option 10 128 224 1 so your time starts now and the answer is a 10 and now let's go to our question number 18 a TCP segment with SYN equal to 1 and ACK equal to 0 indicates. So these are the option connection termination, connection reset, keep alive prop, initial connection, SYN request. So your time starts now. And the answer is D. Initial connection, SYN request. And now let's go to our question number 19. What is the size of the UDP header? So these are the option 16 bits, 16 bytes, 8 bits, 8 bytes. So your time starts now. And the answer is 8 bytes. And now let's go to our question number 20. Given destination IP 192.168.77.213 and subnet mask 255.255.252.0. The subnet network address is so these are the option 192.168.76.0, So your time starts now. And the answer is A. 192.168.76.0. And now let's go to our question number 21. Which statement is false about IP routing? So these are the option. IP uses connection oriented routing. IP is connection less datagram routing. In connection less routing, each packet is independent. None of the above. So your time starts now. And the answer is A. IP uses connection oriented routing. And now let's go to our question number 22. A routing table entry that remains fixed unless manually changed is called. So these are the option automatic route, static route, dynamic route, adaptive route. So your time starts now.
and the answer is b static route and now let's go to our question number 23 which of these is a characteristics of dynamic routing so these are the option all routers are manually configured and never change routers periodically update tables depending on network conditions it never finds alternate path it requires complete static configuration so your time starts now and the answer is b routers periodically update tables depending on network conditions and now let's go to our question number 24 in routing table flags which flag typically indicates the route uses a gateway so these are the option u g h d so your time starts now and the answer is b g and now let's go to our question number 25 which address is used to specify the default route so these are the option 0 0.0.0.0 127.0.0.1 255.255.255.255.255.1 so your time starts now and the answer is a 0, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0. so thank you friends for watching our mock test question part 1 for ethical hacking now we will meet in our next part part 2 for ethical hacking so thank you friends for watching our video